I'm actually in this studio right now. I only get this view here. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. You see where I'm at. <laughs> you see who I'm with. What do you have? What do you have hidden? Oh, the S11? Yeah, I got a little bit of everything. Now, I've been dealing with some technical issues, and I had no one else to go to. And then I thought about it. I was like, you know who I need to contact? I don't even need to say it. He's right here. It signs on the wall. He, it's... <laughs> What's going on everybody, it's your man Cleveland Terry. I got my guy here, this guy is Wadi J. He is the tour DJ for, Dan is Danny Lay, right? Danny, Danny Lay. Lay. Danny, Danny Lay. Lay. So he's going on tour for about a month or mm -hmm. so, and uh, he's concerned because his computer is acting a little weird. We know it's summertime, we know it's been hot, especially if you live in LA. It's been about 106 degrees, 108 degrees. 110. 110. <laughs> it's 110 degrees. You know. Nothing to play around with. So uh, I told him, he said, I'm having some issues. On Saturday night, we had a party. He was outside. He was mm -hmm. like, my computer's acting stupid. So the bottom line here is I said, well, you know what? I know that I've made videos about the fact that some of the Intel computers have had problems and they do mm -hmm. overheat. But there are a couple of things that you can alleviate. One in particular that a lot of people don't think about. They think, what's wrong with my computer? Why is it acting strange? Well, we're going to show you that today. So... Where's your computer? That's in my bag. All I'm, right, I'm dealing see. with every DJ's fear right now. We all know that with MacBooks, we have an aluminum chassis around the whole thing. And basically what happens is the entire computer acts as your heat sink. So when the, the Intel processors build up, they generate heat, they go out the pipes, there's these, uh, there's these uh, copper pipes that go around the whole thing, and then they feed out to the bottom, which is why the laptop is kind of a funny thing because you really can't use it on your lap because it gets too hot, so it gets uncomfortable. So we're gonna take the bottom off of this and we're gonna take a look and see how bad his fans are. Because nine times out of 10, uh, a lot of reasons for overheating is just, is just improper cooling. And the reason why there's improper cooling is because the fans are blocked with dust. Now they're not spinning efficiently. They're actually, or spinning at all. So you're gonna heat up faster than you want to and it can't dissipate the heat like you want to. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And which version is this one? Uh, this is the 17. 17? The Mac, MacBook, MacBook Pro. 2017. 17, yeah. With okay. the track bar. I mean, with the uh, touch bar. Okay, so the 2017, that's the i7, i5, do you know? What processor uh, you have I in it? I think it's the i5. Okay. I believe, yeah, I believe it's the i5. Which definitely means that it's not going to get as hot as like the i7s and the i9s. Mm -hmm. um, although, if you have the 17, it's probably the i7 in here. Uh, I do know that this, this laptop gets hot. Yes, it does. They all, they, all the MacBooks have always gotten hot ever since, like, I mean, I have a Retina uh, 2012 MacBook right there. You, you have the newer Mac, though. I do. I have, the, I have the M1, yes, which I absolutely love. So I have a tour coming up, uh, Four Below Tour, Danny Lay. We're going to do about 22 different cities. And the issue that I'm having is that I'll play an audio, and it'll do that glitch where it's like, tick, 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 and it slows down, but it's still playing, and it just it pops. And you get that little red dot that pops. I'm pretty sure Terry's probably going to throw it up right here. A little red dot that blinks. And as it blinks, the audio is just slowing down. It's just, it's terrible. It's the biggest fear ever. And I don't want that to happen as I'm opening up any of these shows. I don't want this to happen as we're performing. I don't want this to happen at all. Okay. Now, you see in here? Ew. Okay, that's all dirt around this whole thing. It's all dirt. Dirt. Let's show you what I'm talking about here. See this? That's all dirt. This whole thing is, is just covered in dirt. It's like a vacuum cleaner. That's exactly. You never empty it out. That's exactly what's going on here. Look at your plate. Mm -hmm. There's dirt all. So what happens is the air flows from the back. It's blowing it out, but it's also pulling it in because it's an open area. Okay. Okay. Um, these right here, these are your heat sinks. So this is this is what your processor, your, your everything is underneath here. So your processor generates heat, sends it to these pipes right here, mm -hmm. and then out to the case. When it gets too hot, this thing blows the fans kick up, and it just airs out the whole thing. So the heat's generating, coming through the heat sink, up, the fans are blowing the heat, out. This has nothing to even do with the heat that's outside that's hitting this computer. Yeah, that's the only oh problem with, um, with, with MacBooks because 
uh, because they have this aluminum uh, kind of heat sink chassis, mm -hmm. uh, once you're out in the open air, the, the, the ability for it to cool itself, the hotter it gets outside, uh, the, hard, the harder it's going to be for you to cool it. So if you're sitting at 100 degrees outside, uh, or 105 in his case, 110, there's, there's, it's really going to be hard for you to just cool this down fast enough because there's no external cooling. So it's blowing out this hot air, but it has no way to release yeah. the heat. It's just, it's 100 degrees outside, so that's what it's going to be here. So there's only so many things you can do. I mean, it's funny. If you ever look at the, um, if you look at the specs, even on like your Apple sites, and it asks for like your tolerances, um, they'll tell you even on there, uh, you don't want to be uh, in a, outside or in a place above 85 degrees. That is their, that's that's their rule. Oh, one other thing that people are gonna that people are gonna mention, uh, when your computer does get hot, we're not gonna do this today because I'm not in the mood. But when your computer does start to do this weird thing, you might need to uh, reapply thermal paste to your actual processors because. As they, as your computer gets older, the thermal tape will start to wear. Okay. So they basically you just basically you don't, but somebody takes the processor off, mm -hmm. scrapes off the old paste, puts in the new paste, and then that should fix your processor getting hot too. A lot of people have said the worst part of um, Max is their application of thermal paste. Mm -hmm. You see this? I didn't even notice this right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now that thing is... That thing's clean. Yep. Now let's go to this one. You can see all that dirt here. All right, okay. You are clean, clean, clean. Super clean now. By the way, these guys, this is like your Bona, Swifter, whatever rags. These work really, really good for your inner, for your equipment. Just take this and just rub it over and because it's got these, you know, grabbers here, it just takes up all the dirt. But interestingly enough, I was experiencing it on internal mode, like this. Yeah. I had the same issue. So it wouldn't mm -hmm. play, the, the audio would play and then it'll just start glitching and I'll get that dot of death. That's what we're gonna so, call it. So what you should do, um, there, is a, there is a temperature reader. It's a third party. TG Pro. It's literally like five bucks, five to 10 bucks. TG Pro. TG Pro. That's the one that I use and it works well. Okay. Just stays up there and then not only will it tell you uh, you know, how hard your fans are running, but it'll also tell you which processors, which fan may or may not be working up properly. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll show you all your processors to let you know which ones are, are getting hotter than they should. Uh, so it'll help, but cool. Close this out. All right, guys. Um, let me say it. Let me say it. Go ahead. Let me say it. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. If we don't talk to you soon, we'll talk to you later. Done. <laughs> Done. All right, y'all. Always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.